What's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having a great day. We got new mods for you today. Nothing too crazy or fancy, but we do have some nice updates as well. We got some stuff for Bales. Got a nice new trailer. Nice cultivator. We also got an update to the Anna Burger Pack and three seasons geos. Let's check. First up today, we're actually going to look at an update. This is the Anaburger HTS 2979 Multiland Plus. Changelog 1.0.1.1, fixed backdoor collision, the eco liner, and added lights to the basic chassis. There you go. Let's check this out in store. We are actually going to be going to the brand section and clicking on Anaburger here. So we've got the basic chassis, plus we have the eco liner and the GFK tank module. Now, in the basic chassis, of course, rim colors. None of this stuff has changed. Design, we have a splitter or spoiler normal. Spoiler folded, which is in the very back back here. And we have, without spoiler at all, we'll set up Cargo X Bib and Cargo X Bib HF. So there you go. A little bit wider, not too crazy. Different tire wear as well. So you got that stuff. In the Eco Liner, of course, main color. You can go with red, black, or green. Capacity 32,000. You can also put that up to 41,000 if you would like design standard. We have the warning triangle right there, dead center, or we do the warning signs or the warning stripes down the side or mixture of all of those together. And unloading mechanics, we have standard and left. So you can also do a left side if you would like. It adds these doors. In the GFK tank module, Main color, red, black, or green. We're gonna stick with a green. It's not gonna change the tank, it's gonna change the framing on there. Normal sprayer tank, new sprayer tank. So you could change that there, that's how you do that. And attachers, so you could do standard. You can also change that up to a trailer hitch or back to standard again. So there you go. That is the Anaburger HTS 2979. Multiland Plus. The only new mod today for all platforms, this is the M402 Disc Harrow. However, it is in Cultivators. Let's check it out. Let's bump into tools, into Cultivators, and it's gonna be one of the brand new modded ones. It's gonna be pretty hard to miss. There it is, the Rao M402. It doesn't say it's a Rao, but it is boom, right there. No customization options. We have a 150 horsepower requirement, four meters, and goes at nine miles per hour. Other than that, it's just a basic cultivator. There you go. Moving into PC and Mac mods, we have the 2PTS 11 Sarmat. Now, where can this be found? This is gonna be found in tools. It's gonna to be found in trailers, and it's gonna be right here. So the picture on the main website shows a gray trailer. However, on here, we're showing an orange trailer. We actually have a smaller version of the Catman here as well. Let's pop in. This is the brand new one that we got today. Main color, we have a gray. You can also do black. You do a light black, orange, red. It's going to be the frame down there, by the way. Orange again, another orange. We have two oranges. Pretty sure that's yellow and burnt orange, crimson, and we've got brown as well. Rim color, similar right here. Gray, black, light black, yellow, brown. That is not orange, red, blue green, crimson, and brown there as well. And in design colors, exactly the same there as well. Configurations, we have capacity 12,200, 15,800, or you can go into the forge section and it goes 21,200 back to standard again. Design, we have the PTS 11 and you can do the PTS 12. Doesn't actually change anything other than the stickers, but you can go back and forth there if you would like. There you go. That is the 2PTS 11 Sormat. Your last mod mod today, a tangible mod. This is the Fleming Bell Spike. Again, this is for PC and Mac only. Let's check this out. Where are you going to find it? Well, this is going to be in bailing technology. And simply scroll through until you see the blue Bell Spike. Right there it is. Bell Spike. Click on it. No customization whatsoever. It is a three-point, so do keep that in mind. You will need a front or rear three-point link in order to make this thing work. $500, so it is very, very cheap. There is only one way to use this, however. It goes up and down, up and down, just like that. So there is no way to move it around. As you can see, my camera's moving around instead of the uh, implement itself. So you will have to just raise and lower. That is it. We've got three Seasons Geos for you today. The first one up is Seasons Geo Bavaria. This is a transition between humid Atlantic climate 
and dry continental climate, the weather affects the nearby Alps. This right here is kind of interesting because, well, of course, we don't see cotton. Naturally, we're not going to see cotton and we don't see sugar cane. Well, those are all brand, those are all normal. However, take a look at canola. Canola can only be planted and harvested <laughs> in, what is, we have like a two year cycle for canola, goodness gracious. So you have no double cropping whatsoever being allowed here. You might, might be able to do a little bit of canola and mix that with something else. But I do find it interesting that you can only plant that in the later year. So a little bit of late summer and into early and mid fall. But everything else is pretty standard here. I do always say anytime you see something that's two or less bars, you need to do make sure that you get that in and maybe play with six or nine day seasons turned on. Three day seasons may not give you the window that you need in order to do what you need to do here. So nonetheless, this is a really cool Geo. Very interesting. Let me know if you guys are going to be using this. Next up, we have Seasons Geo Shropshire. This is a Central European transitional climate with regard to the Alps in the middle and west and the Pannonian plain to the east. This one is made by the same modder as the one before. Again, check this out. Interesting canola planting here, but everything else has been increased just a little bit. Soybeans and corn, a little bit less, but nonetheless, very, very cool. Very, very good. The interesting thing I'm seeing here is we can plant uh, your like primary like oat crops. So wheat, barley, oats, uh, not really sunflowers, but wheat, barley, oats. We'll just start with there. You can play those almost all year long with the exception of summer one and two straight through winter all the way through there that is interesting i've never seen that before very very cool and lastly today we have caesar's geo cork a mixed climate characterizes the weather of cork with a mixed amount of proper harvesting time in between rainy days all weather is an average using using weather spark this geo will be ideal for irish maps now Yesterday, in yesterday's Farm Sim News video, a few of you guys actually messaged me saying, hey, I'm from Cork, or hey, I live there. That is awesome. And the fact that Irish maps are becoming extremely popular in Farming Simulator right now, this geo is going to be used quite a bit. Now, it is very challenging. Let me know, those of you that are from the area, let me know if this characterizes it very, very well. I'm not sure. Of course, you cannot do soybeans or corn. That is one thing. So along with cotton and sugar cane you cannot do soybeans or corn period nada can't do it sunflowers small window to plant got a pretty good harvesting window everything else is very normal it seems everything else is pretty pretty normal but nonetheless that soybean and corn thing is kind of throwing me off right now but nonetheless there you go that is seasons geo cork well guys that is going to be it for today i hope you've enjoyed if you did please drop a like if not please subscribe if you have any questions drop those down in the comment section below let me know if you're going to be using any of the mods that came out today with all that being said hope you have a great day we will see you later peace